basically whatever. The ceilings had a uh, beams, exposed beams running across with crown. And it became apparent because it, well, how do you stop and start the paint? I like it to flow. And so I decided to use that as a feature. And often people don't put any color on the ceiling. They, they, they don't think about the ceilings. It sort of stops at the, where the ceiling meets the wall. And it was like, no, the ceiling is part of the room. And it's a major part of the room. So what I did is I carried the color across these beams. And again, you had a crown molding, which I made in a um, slightly different contrasting color. Um, but I also put um, a sheen on the ceiling just to, and it's become kind of my signature mark because raising the height of the ceiling visually is, is everything. And, and particularly in New York apartments where you, you can come across low ceilings. So um, adding a crown and then separating it with a type of finish makes it look on a different plane. I, I call it putting a topography in a room. And so the ceiling raises up more because you've got this sheen on it and it acts as a mirror. And uh, and it just creates another level of interest. And I also put around the ceiling fixtures, um, of which we've made new ones, a, um, a medallion in a, in a heavy um, plaster medallion, which uh, brought some interest to that light fixture, rather than just sticking a light fixture up on the ceiling. I mean, there's, there's all kinds of tricks you can do.